Hi everybody, our lecture today is about mental foramen. You can see in this picture, this is the mental foramen, this is the body of the mandible, this is the ramus, and this is the angle of the mandible. The ramus of the mandible end in its superior border in two processes. The first is the coronoid process, and the second is the condylar process. You can see in the next picture, this is the mental foramen, and this is the mental nerve. The mental foramen differ in its shape, in its size, in location, and in direction. The shape of this foramen could be oval in shape, or it could be round in shape. Also, it differs in its location, as this foramen could be classified regarding the long axis of the adjacent teeth. In the horizontal plane, it could be located mesial, distal, or between the tooth apices or root apices of the premolars. In the vertical plane, this foramen could be located coronal at the same level or apical to the apices of the adjacent premolars. You can see in this picture, this is the mental foramen, this is the mental nerve. You can identify two branches of the mental nerve in this patient. The mental nerve supply the sensory innervation of the skin, lip, and lower chin. Also, you can see in this picture there are two mental foramen. This is accessory mental foramen and accessory mental nerve. These anatomical variations could be present or could be identified in some individuals. Also, you can see in the next picture there is a radiographical assessment of the mental foramen. This radiograph shows the mandibular canal, the mental canal, the interior loop of the mental canal and the mental foramen. You can see this is mandibular incisive canal. The continuation of the mandibular canal interiorly is the mandibular incisive canal. Mandibular incisive canal sometimes reach to the midline. The occurrence of this canal range from 11 to 92 percent. It could be distinguished in some radiographs and sometimes could not be distinguished. Also, you can see in the next picture the length of the interior loop, the length of the interior loop of the mental canal. The interior loop defined as mental neurovascular bundle which cross inferiorly and interiorly to the mental foramen, then loops back to exit through the mental foramen. The length of this loop could be ranged from 0 to 10 millimeter. We have some clinical hints from studying anatomy of the mental foramen. The first is, if you have a good knowledge of the anatomy of mental foramen, then you will have successful mental nerve block, successful dental implant placement, and successful removal of lower jaw lesions. Thank you all for your listening, and these are the references of our lecture.